Last week, the Portland Lumberjacks were crowned the 2022 Elias Cup champions of the PBA League. But that doesn't mean the competition is over. Today, the 10 league teams are back, each sending out one player in a test that demands near perfection. The PBA League All-Star Clash. One shot each, and the low man goes home. Who will survive? Bayside Bowl in Portland, Maine has become one of the most entertaining bowling centers in the nation. I mean, look at these fans. You gotta love it. We're back to the 2022 PBA League All-Star Clash presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon. Ten bowlers here representing the best total pinfall for the PBA League seating round, consisting of six games. One bowler is here from each team. It's plain and simple. One shot per round. High score survive, and the low ball goes home until we have a champion. The last man standing. Some of the sports' biggest names are here, and their PBA League teammates and managers are watching in the stands as well to make it more fun. Speaking of fun, look at the crowd. Yeah. Amazing again. We love this place. It's the best. Dave Wright alongside Ray and Peterson, all of Famer, but we can hear that because they're chanting his name. <laughs> All right, wow. so the PBA All-Star Weekend Wait, did, what? I can't hear you. Got off to a great start yesterday with a strike to it. It was amazing. Matt Ogle, Kyle Troop, the hometown hero bowling for the Lumberjacks. In the end, Troop, there it is, wins. Man, what a great match, though. Matt Ogle, as he's done throughout this entire competition, was brilliant. Throwing 12 strikes. And he was one bat break away from winning this thing. Kyle Troop, well, he won because he won the tiebreaker. They both struck 12 times, but Kyle threw a six-bagger. Kyle walks away with the hardware. How excited was Kyle to win as a member of the Portland Lumberjacks? I'd say really pumped up. So now the question is with Matt Ogle, can he rebound from what happened in the strike derby. Disappointing loss. Let's find out what he's thinking. Joined now by Kimberly Preston. Matt, you came so close to winning the strike derby last night, but this is a different type of competition. But how much are you looking for redemption, not just for you, but your team tonight? Yeah, yesterday was unfortunate. I uh, lost in a tiebreaker, but today I'm getting redemption uh, for sure for my team and myself. Uh, I will be ringing a bell at the end of the day. Oh, I love that confidence. Let's get to it. Matt Ogle clearly, KP, is ready to go. There's KT and Carolyn Dorn Ballard, as we talked about. Tim Max in there. The PBA League bowlers from this year and their managers, a lot of Hall of Fame names, are watching in the crowd. So a very unique setup here at Bayside. Here is the player order. Simonelli, Hupe, Hanrahan, Sterner, Russo, Ogle. We just heard from Matt a moment ago. Kimberly, Jacob Buttra, Falefti. Tang Peters and the Iceman himself, Jesper Svensson. From the Milwaukee Pounders, Ryan Simonelli. Yeah. The best score, total pinfall, six games for the Pounders in PBA League qualifying the seeding round. One ball here. All right, strike. Good start for Simonelli. That's how you want to start. You're safe. You get to round two. From the Motown Muscle, Mitch Huppay. Showing off the big guns here. Former Lumberjack. He won an Elias Cup with Portland a couple years ago. Wants a strike to stay safe, has it. That's the good news. So two up and two down. Here comes Packy. From your Portland Lumberjacks, Packy Hanrahan. Five righties, five lefties in this competition. There's Kyle Troop, strike derby champ. His teammate with Portland, rooting him on. Good balance. Yeah. 
is a Pac-Man from Portland. Yeah! What's up, Randy? What do you think about uh, Packy's chances of taking this home for you guys? Hey, we're uh, we're all happy standing here watching the the lefty go to work today. That's a solid shot to start. Let's go, Lumberjacks. From the Waco Wonders, Jason Sterner. King of the Lane champ in this building last year. From upstate New York near Rochester. They get married in September. Would like to add a trophy to the trophy case here. Yeah! Wow! Four for four. From the Las Vegas High Rollers, Matt Russo. Former PBA Rookie of the Year. Here's A.J. Johnson watching with the shades looking cool. Las Vegas High Rollers PBA League teammate. So now the pressure's on because the first four have struck. These guys aren't missing. All right, we heard the confidence from Matt a moment ago with Kimberly Pressler, Bill O'Neill, his teammate with Dallas. Looking to see if Ogle can keep the strike streak going here. Can the first six do it? Uh oh. There's non strike. So he'll sit on the lane side seat there and await his fate. The Buttrip, Tang, Peters, or Jesper throw less than a nine, then Ogle survives. From the LAX, Jacob Buttrip. Butcher to end because Martin Larson had to pull out with a neck injury. Hope Martin's feeling better. We saw him here at the bowling center today. Not 100%. So next up, Butcher from the LAX team. Nice. From the New York City Kingpins, Darren Tang. CDB, his Hall of Fame. Yes. Hi, Carolyn. Hi. <laughs> How's it going watching there, Lane Side? You liking this? Um, no. I like to be in the background so that I can just kind of show my emotions. But I got to keep it in check. <laughs> well, we appreciate you rooting on part of the Tang gang here. Come on. Oh! Join Ogle in the seats. Possibly a roll off. The seat of shame. The seat of shame. Ogle and Tang there for now. Here's Jake Peters. From the Chicago Hitmen, Jake Peters. One of the great guys of the sport. From Vegas. One title in his career so far. Right, came with the Badger Open, 2013 in Milwaukee. Yeah! Trip 10 pin for Jake. So he's good. And the last bowler of round one is Gasper Svensson. From the Silver Lake Adam Splitters, Jesper Svensson. 
the Iceman cometh. On cue. Great sign, great fans. One tang hoping for an eight or lower so they can advance. Might have a three way tie. Jesper wants to join the strike team. Come on. We got a tie break. Ogle and Tang. They ring the bell here at Portland. That means we got a roll off. And we'll keep going until we have a winner here. The Top server on strikes, most pins knocked down in the six games of qualifying. He had 49 strikes in six games. Would be your favorite here. Let's see. And like it, Brooklyn! Next stop, Brownsburg. Get over there with this one. So Darren Tang's got to match it. Yeah. CDB's watching it all. Yeah. Got it. Let's do this again. Another roll off. We could be here for a while. That'd be okay. This is fun to watch. <laughs> Pressure's on for arguably the MVP of this PBA League weekend. Oh. That all star oh, weekend. Three, Got another one. Just trying to get TV time, though. You got a lot of TV time, Matt. Way to go. All right, from the kingpins, back to Darren. Strike to survive. Oh, 10 pin. Darren Tang is done. Ogle. Off to round two. Darren, you were not going down without a fight, but it's hard to beat a strike. It's hard to beat Brooklyn's. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to beat Brooklyn's. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you have been eliminated. I'm so sorry. That's OK. I'll be back, maybe. <laughs> round one complete. It was fun to watch. Here in Bayside Bowl, Portland, Maine. Round two is next. Who survives? Who goes home? We'll find out. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Pabst Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Always original since 1844. Please drink responsibly. By Guaranteed Rate. Get cash out of your home's equity with a cash out refi from Guaranteed Rate. Learn more at rate.com. And by Kia and the new Forte GT. It's one fantastic ride. Train service, tourists right on the water. Beautiful here in Portland, Maine. We continue the PBA League All-Star Clash presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon. Dave, Randy, Kimberly checking out now the Brunswick 42-foot Mark Roth pattern, Randy. Yeah, powered by Kia, it's the Mark Roth 42-foot oil pattern. You can see how the players are gonna play it, but there's also one other option, and that's urethane pretty straight from this angle here. Carolyn. Yes? Uh, I really liked Michael, or excuse me, Darren's uh, yeah. 
comment about the Brooklyn. What do you think about that? I'm not talking to Darren right now. He got nine. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, hey, look, guy got Brooklyn, you know, I mean, it's a bad break. He got up, he made a great shot. Um, and we know, I mean, there's a lot of urethane going down the lane, so we know how the lanes are going to transition. But he did his best. Um, he's a great team player, and I'd have him any day on my team. All right, Carolyn, thank you. Yes. Good stuff there. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I always get Michael and Darren confused. Well, Michael was right behind there in there. Survivors after round one. The players PBA League. The managers like Carolyn. All here watching at Bayside. Pretty uh, star-studded crowd, to say the least. Okay, ready for round two, Simonelli. One of eight who struck in the opening round. Only Ogle and Tang did not. Ogle survives. Tang's watching with CDB right now. Simonelli, oh, cross the deck, got that seven. Safe. Nasty little messenger there. One shot. That's it per round. So Simonelli's good. And Chupe. Also good. Two for two. One of the best releases in bowling. Simo's here. Lavois is here. Muscle teammate Anthony Simonson watching. We told you the crowd is loaded with Hall of Famers and those who will be in the Hall of Fame one day. All right, hometown hero here, Packy. Five lefties left, only four right handers. Tattoos the one two pocket. Mr. The, <laughs> the superstars with the high fives are watching. Pretty awesome here. And with this many left handers, you got to ask yourself how much transition is going to happen on that left side. Saw the big nasty in there. Wes Malott as well. All right, Sterner trying to answer. Strike fast here. Oh! Ten pins, so nine for Sterner, and he'll go to the seat. To watch and hope somebody gets eight. AJ Johnson wants his teammate to keep on going for PBA Lee and Las Vegas High Rollers, Matt Russo. Two-hander that uses his thumb. Southpaw. Seven pins, so nine for him. He'll join Sterner. The Matt Ogle, who survived the roll off with Darren Tang in the first round. No scores knocked out of round two. And we'll keep going until we have a champion. Ogle, he liked it. Oh. Come on. I'll tell you what, for a guy that doesn't practice a whole lot because of his other business at home, he sure has dominated. The league series this year. Owns a very successful landscaping business in Louisville with his family. That's job number one, but he has been amazing here in Portland. You're right. Roger struck first round. Lefty. Yeah. And again, Jacob Butcher filling in for the injured Martin Larson. So a tag out of the lineup. Here's Jake Peters. 
Arlington Chip Award winner who's been through so much off the lanes. <laughs> Trying to beat the nine. Nicely done, Jake. He's two for two. Right at it. Crunches the one three pocket. <laughs> He's safe. Last competitor round two. Here's the Iceman. Got it. Another roll off. There's the bell. Stunner and Russo. I think that was Heather, right? Jason's fiance rang the bell this time, so let's see what Stern can do. Head to head with Matt Russo, right hander against two handed lefty. Whoever can get the corner pin out is going to advance. Stern steps up. Ah, oh, land 10 pin, nine. So a strike for Russo, does it? He liked it. <laughs> Look at the face on yeah. Kyle Troop. <laughs> CDP. <laughs> they all know. There's Parker Bone the third. Here comes Russo. Teammates, the managers will share in the winnings. There's uh, some financial incentive for those guys in the stands watching, rooting on their players. Strike to advance for Russo. Does it! And moves on. Tang and Sturner have been knocked out. Round two is complete. Round three on the way from Portland, Maine. Stars are coming to the city of stars for the Midsummer Classic. It's the 2022 All Star Game from Dodger Stadium. Tuesday, starting at 7 Eastern, only on Fox. Do you mean Chavez Ravine? That's what I mean. Home of your Dodgers. One of the oldest stadiums in, in the league. Oh, I love going there. Absolutely. If not the oldest. Well, Fenway Park's old. Okay, so maybe it's Rigged the second field. oldest. It's, we'll, we'll Google that. It's up there now. All the new ballparks. You're right. Simonelli. Leads us off here, RP, in round three. Go! Oh, oh, my! That's not going to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, Ryan. Probably not. Low score of the day so far, six with the big four. Uh, he'll have to go to the seat. And need a lot of help. That's probably not going to get by. <laughs> That struck in his first two. Round three. Low score is done. Coupe. Nice. Three for three. All right, Kyle, what do you think? We've got, uh, well, we've got five left handers left, three right handers. Simonelli's probably going to get eliminated. You think the lefties have an advantage? Most definitely, Randy. I mean, uh, there's a reason why I wanted it on our, I wanted him on our team. There's only a couple lefties left. The lanes are going to transition a lot more on the right side. The crowd wants the pack, man. We believe in him. Let's watch him work. All right, Kyle. Great stuff. Pac-Man. Nine. 
That's plenty. Oh man, Simonelli at six. So back he's safe. Simonelli hoping someone just goes off the rails and rolls a five. Not likely to happen with these superstars on the lanes. Russo survived the roll off a moment ago. Sending Sterner home. Oh, oh he got no! five! He got five! Are I can't you believe me? it! I don't believe my eyes. And now Simonelli stands because he's safe for now. And Russo to the seat with a five. Safe for now, he's safe. Oh, gosh. I mean, really? Shocker. All right. Ogle trying to stay locked in. Brooklyn. Another Brooklyn from there. Yeah. <laughs> that was a matter, though. Strikers teammate Bill O'Neill gets the fist bump. There's EJ Tackett back there. Kevin Williams. I mean, all the stars were out. Locking the house here. Place is so loud. Big year was 2019 for Buckley. What a talent. Got eight. That's play. Safe because Russo got the five. Peters two for two so far, as is Jesper. The last two of round three. Seminole didn't think there was any chance. Yeah. He'd get to round four. Neither did anyone else. <laughs> KJ steps up. Nicely done. Yes, sir. Tom Doherty. These kids are here. Great to see them on the road. John Petraglia. Bill Ballard Jr. I mean, wow. Who's who a boy? like the Hall of Fame reunion weekend for the PBA League, plus these all-star competitions. It's just awesome. Svensson. Got nine. So Matt Russo is done with his five in the third round. Wow, that was unreal. Let's go back to Kimberly. Well, Matt, on the good news is I'm pretty sure you have uh, earned a fan in Ryan Simonelli for the rest of your life, but unfortunately you are now out. But seriously, what happened with that shot? Uh, you know, I thought it was good. I guess I'm just really good at getting five on TV when it counts. So uh, that's right. Uh, we had a great time, and uh, hey, it's all good. Well, Glad you had a here. huge week. You made the PBA League, you made the Strike Derby, and then you made the PBA Clash. How has this experience, other than you getting out here, been for you? Uh, it's just been incredible, you know, just being here. The fans have been fantastic. You know, it's my first time here. So uh, it, it's been amazing, and uh, thanks, Tom Leto, for, for picking me, and I'm glad to represent the Las Vegas High Rollers. Great young bowler, A.J. Johnson's teammate. Little bummed, but Simonelli's not because with his six, he said, well, it's not going to cut it. It did because Russo threw a five in the third round. To the fourth round now, here at Bayside Bowl in Portland, Maine. Let's flash back. Bolero Centerville, Virginia in 2020. Last time this event was held. West Block knocked off Norm Duke in the All-Star Clash. Round 11, Duke got seven. West got nine. And the win left the 10 pin. And yes, his Lumberjack teammates, including Kyle Tim Mack manager. Chris Bradley still on the team this year. Celebrate Lumberjack banner. There's Kyle Troop. Tim Mack has West right behind him. Trying for another title. And 22. A 
like, Kyle, what was that like a couple years ago to see your teammate win and, and rooting on Packy here? Ah, uh, man, it's great to relive those memories. Uh, the franchise did a lot of great work last year. We're happy to be here in Portland. Packy's looking pretty solid so far, so let's keep the show rolling. Let's go, Pac Man. Yeah, Pac Man. Portland, let's hear it for Packy. Hey, Kyle, I think that uh, Tim Mack is the only player on your team that could actually lift West Milan. You may be right. Simonelli, round four. Here we go. Perfect. Good shot. Got to feel better than the six he had to begin round three. Who pay three for three so far in our competition? Only 300 of the six game seating qualifying block PBA League came from this guy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Way off. Oh and just get six. And look at those numbers on strike track powered by Kia. That was way outside. One, two, four, seven. He will have a seat in the seat of shame. He'll sit in the <laughs> mahogany of misery. <laughs> and now here's Packy. You know Kyle Troop. Teammates, manager Tim Mack, root for this guy, Pac-Man. Oh, yeah. Got another one. Three of four, and I have nine in the third round, so Packy stays hot. Got Ogle. Survive the roll off first round, otherwise two strikes. And a total of four or five strikes today. Looking for the seven pin. That's it. I got you. Nice, just fine. Eight for Buttrip, third round. First two rounds of strike for the sensational Southpaw. All ten down. Good to go. And he's safe. Every round will knock off one boy with a low score, and that's looking like Hoope right now. But we said that last time when Simonelli had the yeah, six right? to begin the third round. And somehow, Seven. somewhere, Russo had five. Seven or better. Jake's been spot on. Just needs seven for the fifth round. Got seven. That's enough. Just enough to survive and go back. Move on, Wall, the back. Same deal for Jesper here. Trying to send Hupe home. Does it? Third strike of the competition. And Mitch Hupe is done. Great to see Mitch Hupe in action again. And yeah, the crowd rocket again. Here in Portland, Maine. Simonelli, among others, surviving the fourth round. Round five on the way from Portland. Presented by Paps Blue Ribbon here on FS1. Great crowd, as always. What a bowling community. 
in Portland Tuesday. The game's biggest star is coming to the City of Stars for the Midsummer Classic. It's the 2022 All-Star Game from Dodger Stadium Tuesday, starting at 7 Eastern only on Fox. So, Randy, as we know, the crowd here just amazing. It's a fantastic bowling center with some very good bowlers as well. We get a chance to experience some of that with the Bopo Mini Clash that happened earlier today, led by proprietor Charlie Mitchell. And he got some talented players out here. Yeah, they really do. And I mean, they take their bowling very seriously here. Um, they have a, the Bopo League, and there's actually a waiting list just to get into the league. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's check out what happened earlier today with the Bopo Mini Clash. Well, Charlie, we always love coming to Portland, and this Bayside Bowl crowd is always absolutely epic. But what does it mean for us to come here and just in general bowling the atmosphere here in Portland? Well, I mean, you see this isn't we're in the middle of July, the nicest month in Maine, and we've got 200 people in here to celebrate with us and bring the community together. And I feel like the pros have kind of become part of the extended family. Kimberly, your family here at Bopo. It's just, it's great to have everybody here together. And I mean, it's a ton of fun. It is definitely a family feel here, and we absolutely love it. But I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Who's going to win this today? Uh, Heartbreak Kid is a defending champ in Bopo. Mallory is the uh, defending MVP. So I'm going to go with Holden Green. Yeah! <laughs> and you rolled yourself up, but that's OK. Let's get to it. Bayside Bowl. The Bopo Mini Clash. Reading off, Mallory Clark, also known as Sauce. All right, here's our first competitor, Mallory Clark, from here in Bopo. The locals are getting involved. Great bowling community in Portland, Maine. Now, hey, nice shot for Sauce. Maybe she should change her name to Hot Sauce. Because <laughs> that was a pretty hot shot right what there. What do you think of the swing and release there? Pretty good, Rand. Yeah, it looked great. What well, a ball reaction. Wow. We call that 10 in the pit, Dave. Crunches that 1-3 pocket. Good job, Sauce. Bowling second. We know this Charlie guy. Charlie Mitchell, also known as Carl Hungus. <laughs> From the movie. Here's the proprietor right here on this great bowling center. Come on, Charlie. Yeah. So they're safe. Bowling third, Kenny Sweet, also known as Heartbreak Kid. All right, so Kenny has got to max the strike from Sauce and Carl Hungus, or Mallory and Charlie, to stay in it. No man for now. Morgan DiPietro, also known as Lala. All right, here's Morgan. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, that's uh -oh. crossing way over. Oh. But gets eight. Crosses over far enough to make her safe. Heartbreak kid in trouble. Bowling fifth, James Davis, also known as Holden Green. Charlie Mitchell's pick to win this thing. Let's find out. Oh, unique start. Sunglasses, like that a lot. Another two-hander. Two-hander, got to hurry. Oh, Seven. Got a tie. between the Heartbreak Kid and Holden Green. Kenny and James. And we'll keep going until we have 
the winner or the loser. We'll figure it out one of these days. Two-hander with power. Gets eight. I can't get it. Seven first ball, eight the second. Here comes James Davis. Looking awesome out there. Maybe. Oh, no. Six. Holden Green out. Holden Green is done. I thought that was a strike. <laughs> Save by the bell. Did I just say the chair Our Bo Po team. Mini clash here in Portland, Maine. Next round, Mallory Clark, Charlie Mitchell struck. Here comes Sauce. Her first shot was perfect. How about a second? Seven. Here's Charlie. Striking his first shot. Trying to beat the seven. And he'll get seven. Oh. So two on the bench waiting to see what the others do. Our break hit is back. Seven and eight, first two shots. Oh, yeah. That was good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Safe. Good, good one right here. Rack Shredder. All right, back to our lefty. Eight or better, she moves on. How's it looking? Got it. Nine. We have another roll off. Good job, Morgan. So Sauce and Charlie. Now ring the bell in Portland, Maine. It signifies a roll off. Here's Mallory. Another All seven. Right, seven. All right, Charlie. Eight or better. This guy does an incredible job running this bowling center. One of the best in the nation. And one of our favorite stops. Family atmosphere. Here's the head honcho. Nine. He's got nine. Polar standing wins the Bopo Mini Clash. Round three. Look out. Whoa, six. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> Back to the kid, the heartbreak kid. I like the heartbreak kid winning this. Good call, good prediction. Two hander. Plenty. Green, Sauce have been knocked out. Hungus, Heartbreak Kid, La La left. Not looking good for Carl Hungus. Uh oh. Oh my. First uh -oh. to the channel. Oh, just seven. enough. Barely oh. enough. <laughs> uh, good effort for Charlie. She's so nervous. Down to two. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final clash. Heartbreak Kid versus Lala. Kid, you may begin. Just two standing. Oh, boy.
boy. Oh boy. This kid looks like he can pull on tour. Good job, Kenny. Major rev rate, major ball speed. Now Lala got to match it. Then way left. Gonna yeah. have to really get in there. Doesn't find the one-two pocket. Heartbreak kid, your winner. Good job, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny Sweet, the heartbreak kid, takes the Bopo Mini Clash. Get your PBR, buddy. Got a case for you. <laughs> Congratulations, HBK. We'll have more for the pros at the 2022 PBA League Clash. Presented by Paps Blue Ribbon continues here at FS1. Welcome to the state of Lobster. Oh, nothing quite like it. Look at those beauties. Yeah, I saw you destroy one of those the other oh night. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I've never seen you eat so Whatever much the market price is, it doesn't matter. All-Star Clash here in Portland, Maine. Simonelli, Hammerhead, Ogle, Butcher, Peters, and Svensson are left. Okay, so Carolyn Doran Ballard, we got Randy's prediction yep. a moment ago. He went with Jesper. Your prediction for a winner is? I'm going with Jacob because I think the left lane is going to get tough for the right-handers, and I think the lefties can follow transition just a little bit easier. Kyle, I went with Jesper. Yeah, I heard you like the ice man, but I think Carolyn's a little sick right now or something. <laughs> I'd like a lefty to win, but I he's wearing Jacob. green. I meant butter. Yeah, our lefty's wearing LAX. green. LAX. Oh, sorry. Going with the lumberjack. Over your best buddy, huh? All right, Kyle. You heard it. Team before friends, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. Ready for round five. Simonelli. Three of four so far. Had the six in the third round, but survived when Russo uncorked a five to move on. Similarly, gets nine. A little stiff. A little stiff. That shot was chucked pretty hard. Three pin. So he'll sit and watch fellow lefty Packy Hanrahan. We start with 10 bowlers, one from each of the PBA League entries for this year. From six games of qualifying, seeding round to begin the All Star weekend. Packy! Kyle's pick safe. Nice shot there by Packy Hanrahan. Back to Ogle. Two nines, two strikes so far. First four rounds. He almost had other Brooklyn. He's had a couple Brooklyns already. So he's got a nine. And he'll sit down with Simonelli. Carolyn's pick right here. Three or four strikes, had an eight in the third round. Butcher steps up again. Delivers. Nice. Butcher from LAX, safe. Target's pretty close to the foul line. 
typically you look at the arrows or maybe just past the arrows. Seven count last time for Jake. Peter, yeah, trip 10 pin, nice. He struck four of five rounds. And it's safe through five. Here's Randy's pick. Don't let me down, Jesper. Strike to move on for the Iceman. Oh, yeah. Eight late. That's my boy. And he's through. Now we got to roll off. You heard the bell. Seminelli steps up. In the roll off, he's got nine. Uh oh. Okay. Well, he got away with the six count in the third round. Will he get away with this one or will Matt Ogle rip the rack for 10? Ogle strikes here. He's off to the sixth round. A nine out of the roll off and eight. Simonelli wins. Matt Ogle for the win. Nine. And another roll off. <laughs> He's in front. It's a second roll off. He had two strikes against Darren Tang in the first round. Tang struck first ball and then had nine in the second. So here we go again. Simonelli. Uh oh. Just eight. Uh oh. Oh, that one was pretty good. <laughs> Nick Allen, <laughs> Powder's teammate with Ryan Simonelli, wants eight here from Ogle to keep it going. A nine would do it. How about ten? Ogle is through. Simonelli is done. Bill O'Neill. Superstar, Tommy Jones, Hall of Famer, Strikers teammates, rooting on Matt Ogle. We're off to round six. <laughs> Next from here in Portland, Maine. Here's your chance to become a PBA Junior National Champion and compete to win more than $10,000 in smart scholarships. Go to PBA.com right now and sign up to enter five regional qualifiers being held over two weekends in August. Five down, five remain. Packy Ogle, Buttriff, Peters, Svensson. Jesper, Randy's pick. Packy is four or five so far with strikes. In the third round, had nine. Otherwise, perfect. And the hometown hero playing for the the last cup powerhouse lumberjacks. Begins round six. With another strike. Whatever works. How about you? It is the shot of the day, sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate, believe you. Will Packy gets a break. Trip six, down it goes. Ogle has survived two roll-offs. And he might have to do it again. Got nine. 
Anderson. Prior two roll-offs for Ogle were each nine, and then he was able to survive. Buttrip's been great today. Four strikes, five rounds. The third, he had eight, but that was enough. Russo had the five. Butter! Oh, yeah! LX teammates. <laughs> My Hall of Famer Chris Barnes sure like it. Andrew Kane manager. Another rack shredder. Mm. Remember replacing Martin Larson. We saw him back with his teammates. Martin had injury. Really sore neck. Unable to compete today. So Buttress come in and done great. Jake. Another one. Strikes in five or six for Jake Peters. Staying with that urethane ball going nice and straight. Jake's pump. Jasper. Former rookie of the year looks for his fifth strike of the competition. Oh. Got another one. Oh, wow. Oh. Ogle with nine. Knocked out. No survival this time for Matt Ogle. Six rounds complete. Round seven on the way. Only four ballers surviving to the next round in Portland, Maine. Clash presented by Paps Blue Ribbon here on FS1. Dave, Randy, Kimberly, our entire crew. Who's left? These guys. Packy, Jacob, Jake, and Jesper. To see who wins the All-Star Clash takes home the trophy. The winnings are shared with their PBA League teammates, so plenty of Hall of Fame and big-time superstar PBA bowlers are in the crowd watching. All four players left are five out of six in terms of striking. Here's Packy, only non-strike third round for him. Hey, hey, keeps it going. Troop, there it is, and the Lumberjacks are pumped. Three lefties, one righty. Does that surprise you? Uh, a little bit. Martin Larson not able to bowl today. Butcher filling in and oh. Oh, no help there. Seven pin. Get late in the game now too. I'm... Might be strike or go home. Non-strike for Butcher in the third round had an eight. Had been striking three for three. Sit. So he'll sit and see what happens. Peters trying to keep it going. Yeah. No help either. He'll get yeah. nine also. It was only a matter of time for the week 10 with the urethane ball. The Iceman. Goes for four strikes in a row. Secure a spot next round. Yeah! Oh, baby, what a shot for Jesper. Packy and Jesper are through. Nick Pate rings the bell. 
That means you got to roll off here again. Between Buttrip and Peters. Chris Barnes wants his teammate LAX to win it. But Drift gets uh -oh. just eight. Uh oh. Nine or better on this ball for Peters, and he's through. He wouldn't mind another week 10 right here. That'd be just fine. Get himself into the next round. First time of the competition, Jake's been in a roll off. Nine for the next round. Eight. Wow. Didn't think we'd see that. Yeah, pretty surprising there. Roll off continues. Batra, new life. Nine. This is the better lane for Jake, a little more friction. Peter steps up and delivers. How about it for Jake? Knocks out Buttrip. And the star of the Hitmen keeps his team's hope alive for an all-star class title. Stars are out today here in Portland, Maine. Hall of Famers, legends, and great bowlers on the lanes trying to win the all-star class. Presented by Paps Blue Ribbon. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Get cash out of your home's equity with a cash out refi from Guaranteed Rate. Learn more at rate.com. And by Kia and the new Forte GT. It's one fantastic ride. Casco Bay, beautiful Portland, Maine. Only three left. Hammerhead, Peters, and Spence in a see who wins the PBA League off the class. Presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon. Carolyn, your uh, pick is now gone. So now you have to change your pick. Who's it going to be? I'm telling you right now, I'm going with the people who think Jay Peters is the underdog. I'm sticking with the right-hander. I like his grit, and I like his heart, and I think he can do this. And Kyle, you're still sticking with Packy. You know, I got to stick with the home team. I mean, you know, my boy Jesper's out here, so it's probably going to be a lefty final. But Portland, who's taking it home? For Kyle, strike derby champ, it is all about the Lumberjacks, not his best bud, Jesper, at least in this particular moment in competition. All right, Packy's been great today. Third round, his nine, that was the only non-strike. Yep. He got four rounds in a row with a strike. Same with Jesper. Man, they've been on the money. Packy starts round eight. Nice. Keeps on trucking with another strike. Awesome. Oh, 
CDB's pick, Jake Peters. Last couple of times on this lane, he's been light. How about it? Hey! Yes! Across the deck, the messenger gets the 10 pin. Down it goes. Now it's a must strike for Jesper Svensson or he's done. Only one way to make the next round, Jesper. Gotta be a strike. It's not. He's done. Randy's pick. Finished for the competition. Uh. Down to two. Packy, Jake, head to head. Randy, there's a teletape for you. Packy Henry is still looking for his first career title. Jake's got one. He's been out here quite a bit longer. Good citizens of Portland. This is the final clash. In the red corner for the Chicago Hitman, Jake Peters. In the green corner from your Portland Lumberjacks, Packy and Rohan. You're the best man ring. Here we go. Final round. Who takes home the PBA League All-Star Clash presented by Paps Blue Ribbon? We're about to find out. This guy's missed only once today. He's been awesome. Trying to keep it going. Oh, a six. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, this is gift wrap right now for Jake Peters. I mean, anything that touches the one three pocket and Jake Peters is gonna win this. And Carolyn Dorn Ballard's pony is gonna come in. Seven to win championship way to go jake pba league all-star class champ jake peters hall of fame manager jason couch loves it and the hitman teammates out to share the success of Jake Peters. One of the good guys out here, a man who just recently lost his wife. And man, boy, is that nice to see. Good for you, Jakey. Joined by Kimberly. Well, this that was really amazing to watch. Jake, you just took out the hometown guy. What went through your mind when he threw that six? Oh, man, I, uh, I threw so many uh, decent shots, and I threw some bad ones. Uh, <laughs> I was just trying to keep it on line and, uh, and hopefully hit the headpin. Uh, but uh, for me, it was just stay slow. The crowd is so awesome and gets you so pumped that it's so hard to stay slow and really make a good shot. So it was really cool because, you know, I'm such so honored to be a part of the Hitmen and, uh, you know, Jason taking a chance on me. It was so cool to get us a team win. So it was really cool. And how does this win rank in your career? Oh, 
Oh, it's it's up there. It's just so cool because to be on the highest level against the best players in the world and, and win something with a great group of guys is, is really special. Congratulations. Enjoy this win, and we'll let you head back. Go celebrate with that crowd. Thank you. Congratulations, Jake. Satisfying moment of the match, sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. It's this moment right here. Just enjoying the title for a guy who's been through so much off the lanes. Jake Peters wins the PBA League All-Star Class, presented by Paps Blue Ribbon, and celebrates with a Chicago hitman. Now for Randy Peterson, Kimberly Pressler, and the entire crew. It's Dave Ryan saying so long from Portland, Maine. A reminder that the 2022 Guaranteed Rate PBA Tour continues later this fall on Fox. Don't forget, head to the PBA YouTube channel in just a few minutes for the PBA Post Show presented by Kia. You've been watching the PBA at FS1. Yeah, this was fun. Lumberjack teammates hoping Packy could do it, but in the end, Jake Peters of the Chicago Hitmen wins the PBA League All-Star Clash.